my ministry instructions I gave last Sunday night with some changes. And I'd like you to listen. Every axe preacher, every leader of the houses, everyone who is handling a ministry will receive this in hard copies. That you would know. Right now, you can see it on the screen. And you can read it. That everyone might know. The MBBE will be 49 years old in September of 2024. And we have gone through a lot. Personally, I have gone through a lot. You have not been here for 49 years. I have been here 49 years. I have gone through a lot. Ups and downs, mountain, valley, pressures, problems, bad people, rebellious people, ugly people, all kinds. I've experienced that. Even today. But of course, I cannot deny the fact that in my 49 years of serving God with all of the ups and downs and mountains and valleys, God made me successful. You can see the success. Not only this building, but every building we have, all the ministries and works we have all over the world, that spells success. God gave me one of the most wonderful, exciting ministries any man can ever have. And I thank God for that every day. I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy of it. The Lord could have given it to somebody else. But I will, I'm still wondering why he gave it to me. Still wondering why he gave this success and victories to me. But you know what the Bible says in Romans 8 through 7? In all these things, we are more than conquerors for him that loved us. And that is our theme for the year. More than conquerors. I firmly believe that. In my pain, I am more than a conqueror. In experiencing 10 surgeries in my lifetime, in my own body, I'm more than conquerors. In being deceived by some people, and even pastors, I am more than a conqueror. Do you know one example of a conqueror is? Tell you this. The other day, someone visited me in my office. A young man. A young man who wanted to see me, but afraid to see me. He told me, I'm afraid to see you because you're a legend to me. My respect to you is so high. I do not even know to approach you. He gave me his name. I said, I remember that name. That name 
that name that I remembered is the name of a person who spoke against me. Help against this ecclesia. Who before I would find out his corruption and moral degradation, he left. And with him, he brought his wife, who used to be a faithful member of this ecclesia. Do you know who is? I ask. Yes, Pastor. He's my father. But I would like you to know, Pastor, I'm not living with him anymore. Do you know why? Because I don't believe in him. He's a bad man. My mother had to separate from him because of his attitude. My mother is now in Australia with my other siblings. I wanted to see you because I have known you for a long time. You didn't even know me. Where do you go to church? I don't go anywhere because I'm afraid that when they would know my family name, they would think of something bad about me. I said, you come to the MBBE because nobody knows your family name. In this pulpit, rebellious people are not mentioned here by name. You realize that? They're not mentioned here. And I'm not going to mention his name to you. And don't you ever ask who he is. And don't you ever tell other members, if you have been here for a long time, who he is. Because I have not told that to anybody except my wife. Are you saved? I said yes. Are you a Baptist? Yes. You come to the ecclesia. You tell your mother, I miss her. Your mother was close to me. She was faithful. She was obedient. To me, that is more than a conqueror on my part. Do you realize that? We have become an ecclesia of many firsts. We are forerunners, pioneers, inspirers, and models. If you don't know that, you know it now, isn't it? Especially you, who you think are ordinary members of this ecclesia. I'm letting it for you to know now. What kind of an ecclesia you're a member of. You are not a member of an ordinary church. And therefore, do not be ordinary. Do you realize that? Huh? Nobody who is a member of the MBBE who believes that he is more than a conqueror who's ordinary. All because of God's grace. We're not perfect. We can never be until our Lord Jesus Christ comes back. But until then, until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, we will continue and pursue the divine mandate given by our Lord through his 
word. Are you listening to me? Changes. I call it innovation. And I think you know what innovations mean, isn't it? A person who is victorious and successful always innovate to make him more successful. Changes come as we strive to do better. Just like my favorite, my father's favorite verse in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and noble, always abounding in the work of the Lord, as much as you know that your labor, even a small labor that you're doing for God. You know, I would pray, and I would mention the accountants of this ecclesia. All of the accountants we have, they're so plenty, many of them. I would always say, Lord, I pray you would give them financial integrity and honesty. I'd mention the ushers. They're not mentioned, they're not mentioned often. The marshals. The receptionists. You might be doing just a small thing in the Ecclesia, but you're doing it for God. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. It might be cleaning the building, polishing the equipment, cleaning the floors, small things. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. If you're not doing anything, then you're vain. Anything you do is vain in the Lord. Do you realize that? Oh. Siguro sa bahay nyo, hindi kayo vain. Pero dito sa bahay ng Panginoon, you're vain. Sa wika namin ng mga taga nila, no can do. We want to be that way. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Becoming more Christ-like in many ways, just like what the choir sang tonight. I like that song. Where? In our relationship with one another, how we treat each other, how we welcome the new believers, our compassion for the lost, our love for one another. Now, you can do something against me But when you say you're sorry, I forget all of that. I want you to go on and move on. Unless otherwise, you want to fight with me the rest of your life. And by the way, you want to fight me? You can't win. Because God is with me all the time. So you read our Ecclesia Covenant. There you're going to find everything I'm talking about. I gave you a copy of it. I told you to put it right in your own home for you to review it and find out who you are if you're an MBBN. We do not need to prove anything to anyone. I do not need to prove anything to anyone anymore. But still, we must prove our faithfulness to our God. Always. And proving God through the challenges He gives us. 
So here are my latest ministry instructions for all our congregations, our care stations, our dear ministries, including the organized ecclesias if they want to grow with us, to follow and observe with all diligence and faithfulness. I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to all of you right there among all of you who is part of my ministry. Number one, Foundation Days will be a month-long celebration culminating on Sunday. We have not done this many years back. We're doing it now. If the anniversary falls or the foundation falls on May, in the whole month of May, you ought to have activities of evangelism. Culminating on a Sunday when the foundation itself has been set. Evangelism will be conducted every week. Just like what Roly Malit said today, they had more than 200, 201 to be exact, that came to know Christ because they evangelized every week. So it won't be any more like having a big, big Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Inviting all the people to come and have mass evangelism. Because look, Personal evangelism is still much better than mass evangelism. Today, how many profess the Lord? Do you, have, do you have a count of that? How many profess the Lord? Just here in the main ecclesia. How many? Around 50 or 60 or 70, am I right? But what did I do afterwards? I asked you people to go to them and talk with them personally. Do you know why? Because personal evangelism and counseling is still the best. 115 came to know Christ this morning. In one preaching. Can you imagine that? Are you not happy for that? Huh? Last Sunday, how many came to know Christ here alone? How many came to know Christ here alone? Huh? Last Sunday. Okay. The one that came to know Christ. Huh? 130. Just imagine. 130 last Sunday, just here. Today is 115. Just in two Sundays, we had 245 professions of faith. Now look, no church can beat that. We still have one this coming Sunday. The Pandakan street leaders will be here. Listen, they are not street sweepers. They are my street leaders. They have work. They're well off. And they work for my candidacy. They will come here. And once again, we're going to have 100 people or 200 come to know Christ. Aren't you happy for that? Well, of course you are. Unless otherwise you're going to hell. And you want them to go to hell too with you. Pero nakikita nyo na kahit na marami nagpo-forward, anong ginagawa ko sa inyo? Puntahan nyo. Kausapin nyo. Sapagkat personal evangelism and personal counseling pa rin ang pinakamaganda. Not math. Noong isang araw, no ako nagbibigay ng 3,000 pesos sa akap, ilang daang tao na nandun na ako'y nag-preach. Most of them receive Christ. I do not know how many got saved, but I would know that some got saved. That is how 
you share the gospel to all the people that come in contact with you. I hope you will do that. Whoever you are, anywhere you are. So, in our foundation days and anniversaries, just like what we were doing before, where we have so many people come, sa atin lang anniversary dito, nakaroon na tayo ng 15,000 people dito, pinasara ko yung street dyan, pinasara ko yung buong M. Rojas dito, sa tapat ng Santa Ana Elementary School, pinasara ko itong street na ito on the anniversary day. Ginamit natin ang PICC several times. Am I right? So that we could be able to gather a lot of people that they can come to know Christ. Sinabi ko na sa inyo that among those people that came to know Christ is a former president, GMA, former senators, former congressmen, former mayors came to know Christ. This ecclesia is being blessed by God. Question is, are you being blessed too? Are you part of the blessings I have? Kung hindi, alam ko nahihiya ka. Kung hindi ka nahihiya, kapal naman ang mukha mo. Ano naman niyo ba ako? So evangelism will be conducted every week depending on what our people in the congregation have agreed on. I will do my best to be the speaker on the Sunday or Friday on which the foundation day or anniversary has been set, whether it be live or downloaded. To our Middle East congregation tonight, and I'd like you to listen here, your Middle East congregation member and Kurt station, except for the UAE, who are with us tonight, joining the main ecclesia on Sunday. The Foundation Day celebrations on Fridays will be done in the morning, which will be the GEO. You know what the GEO is? Global Evangelism Outreach. But when you invite people that morning, you'll only be inviting those people that made professions of faith. Dami niyan eh. Di ba? That made professions of faith during the month-long evangelism to attend again so they could hear once more the salvation message or prepare them for baptism. Chief Acts preachers should use my YouTube preachings or messages that can be downloaded from our Ecclesia website. The afternoon service will be Thanksgiving service and will be streamed live at 6.30 p.m. Manila time. In the Middle East, it will be around 1.30 or 12.30. I will be preaching live here every Friday night, of which I also would like you to attend and come. That will include the blowing of the anniversary cake and the usual special numbers and other things. Thirdly, still on the MBBE Middle East, on regular Fridays, no anniversary celebrations. There will only be afternoon to evening services divided into three. 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. simulcast service of the main ecclesia. And dyan na nakalagay ang oras. Number two, 4 to 5 p.m. SOS service where the lesson will be taught either by me or through a downloaded SOS Thursday service we are assigned Acts preachers, not from Santa Ana alone, 
but from the congregations abroad who knew the lesson to teach the impact lesson. And afterwards, either seven to eight or immediately, okay, or magkakaroon lamang ng break after SOS. He will continue on with the Jeremiah 33.3 club. I'd like you to remove that time 7 to 8 o'clock p.m. evening service. Might not. It might be earlier. Sunday evenings will be worship services for our people. And me preaching whether live or via Zoom, or you can use downloaded Sunday preaching. Middle East Parinyan. You know why? Usually in the Middle East, walang ecclesia of any denomination nakakaroon ng service for Sunday night. Friday lang. But not the MBBE. Do you know why? Because Sunday still is the Lord's Day. Okay. Number four, the same thing with our local congregations here, our care stations, our dear ministries. No one who is not an axe preacher or designated by me can preach in any service that has happened in the past where the chief axe preacher would assign any man to preach. Kaya nga meron tayong axe preachers because they are the only ones that are commission to preach. Not those who are not. The Acts preacher assigned to preach in the Jeremiah 33 club prayer meeting should only preach for about 20 to 30 minutes. I want our prayer meetings to be full of prayers rather than preaching. Unless I am the one preaching. After the prayer and preaching, all will join the, the Menekesia to listen to the BP's encouragement or instruction. That includes the, the Singapore care station and the Hong Kong care station. Number five, I want to encourage or give this important instruction to everyone especially the leaders of the ministries, the preachers, and the teachers to attend all services. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Sundays. Unless, otherwise, you are providentially hindered. I think you know what I mean. I want all of you to be involved also in our follow-up and soul winning efforts. Always remember that faithfulness is required from all of us. The one stewarding the ministries and gifts God to the Holy Spirit entrusted to us. 1 Corinthians 4.2 Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found what? Faithful. All of you are stewards. God honors faithfulness and faithful workers. And he gives the increase. Apostle Paul mentioned this in 1 Corinthians 3, 6, I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. Attention, Acts preachers, house leaders, SOS teachers, and the rest of you leaders. Number six, soul winners. Remember these words. And he that winneth souls is wise. And that and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. These are the words pertaining to all of us. As we see what? The day approaching. Na feel nyo na ba na malapit ang dumating ang Panginoon? Eh, kung na-feel ninyo, eh, maging faithful kayo. 
Bakat lezen. Either ikaw na member dito sa impyerno ang punta mo o pagsalangit ka, apapahiya ka ng Diyos. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Okay. Know the difference, ito ha, between soul winning and altered dealing. Meron tayong blue card, di ba? Meron bang hawak na blue card ang ating mga ax preachers dyan? Kung meron pang wala niyan, bigyan. Nakalagay doon on how to deal in the altar. Nakalagay doon on questions to ask on your devotions. So kung meron pang blue card, wala pa ang mga bagong members natin, bigyan nyo. Huwag nyong iwawala. Okay. Attention, Pathfinders Club. Elby Castillo, you have a lovely secretary now in the Pathfinders Club. Ang pangalan niya, si Lublin. Lublin. Saan si Lublin? Ikaw ang secretary ng Pathfinders Club with Ervi Castillo. Now, let's talk about baptism. As we put great importance on soul winning, equally so, we underscore the importance of baptism. For example, wala kayong panahon na i-counsel ang mga nag to baptism because we don't have enough time. So, anong gagawin doon? Attention, follow-up ministries. Kayo, ang siya magdadala ng for baptism dito. Attention, your disciples class. Ganon din sa inyo. At of course, sa iba't iba lugar pa, sa so, Bible club, pero sa BYI, Alright. Meron na kong sinulat dito kung ano ang baptism. Number one, baptism is what? Huh? The biblical reasons why new believers need to be taught to be baptized. Why? In obedience to God's command. Nakalagay ang verse dyan. Number two, to follow Christ's example to fulfill all righteousness. Ano yon? identification. The Lord Jesus identified himself with God's people. Matthew 3.13 Baptism is a public testimony of faith in Christ. Kaya nga nakalagay sa baptism, ito hindi nakikita eh. Ang nakikita nyo lamang ay baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Di ba? Oh. Buried with him in the likeness of his death. Raised up in the likeness of his resurrection. Ano yung last word? To walk in newness of life. That is equally important. Ibig sabihin, sa baptism, nangangako ka. O, oh, nabautismo ang ka, di ba? Nangangako ka. You will walk in newness of life. Nangangako ka na magbabago ang buhay mo. Sapagat kung member ka dito at hindi nagbabago ang buhay mo, i-expel kita dito. Kaya sinabi ko sa inyo, ang mga nag lamang ng Sunday morning, tatandaan ko lahat yan. Later on, I will proclaim that all of those who at only attend Sunday morning will be attenders not members. Hello? O di okay, para ka nasa CCF. Para ka nasa BCF. Tama? At alam ko, ibang mga members natin, doon na nag-a-attend, kasi attender sila eh. 
They don't want to be disciplined. Anyone here that do not want to be disciplined will not be here. Amen ba? But do you think I'm going to stop disciplining even I can see people that get out of this ecclesia to be in another place because they don't want discipline? No, I will not stop disciplining. Do you know why? I'm not preaching to a crowd. I'm preaching on converts. So niyo kong hahamunin sa crowd. Nakapag-preach na ako sa isang milyong tao. Okay? And I do not care for a crowd at all. But I care for those who would like to listen to God's word. Kaya in- 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 inintu ko na yung preaching ko. Hindi naman, di naman, ang iba sa inyo, hindi naman nakikinig. Eh. So that's baptism. Number four. Baptism is the entrance for membership of the ecclesia. So, ano nangyari? You do not only become a member of the family of God, you become a member of the MBB when you get baptized. Do we have some baptisms tonight? If they have some baptisms tonight, let them come over here. Okay? Kung meron tayong pa-baptize ngayong gabi, lumapit dito sa harap. Okay. Then, baptism is an answer of a good conscience toward God. Bakit? Obedience to eh. Do you realize that? Hindi ba good conscience ka pag obedient ka? Okay. So, yan. Attention lahat, ha? Number eight. Be involved totally in our discipleship program and finish all the seven discovery booklets. Finish them. Ha? Huh? Wilmer Orion is coordinating it. Okay? I hope that you'll do it. Hmm. Tinabi ko na linggo, among our YAPIs, among our BTEF, ah, you can go, you can do a small group, eh. Di ba? If you are discipling someone, you can do it over a cup of coffee in a coffee shop or here at the Pacillas Garden or if you can afford the Starbucks or whatever you do it. Dalawa kayo. Tatlo. Apat. Wag marami. Okay? You, you can have, you can also have lunch. That street if you want. Gusto ko lamang ng lahat ng MPBE faithful are all over the places teaching, sharing, discipling, praying with someone else. Wala ba kayong panahon doon? Ha? Meron. Wag mo sabihin, wala kang panahon doon. Basahin mo ang Ecclesiastes chapter 3. In everything, there is a season and the time under the heaven. Ha? Okay? Kung wala kang panahon maglingkod sa Panginoon, tamad ka. Naunawaan mo ako? Kung tamad ako, hindi ka masesave. Hindi ka matututo. Walang saysay ang pagiging anak ng Diyos mo kung tamad ang pastor nyo. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Mahiya naman kayo. Alright. So attention, netonyms. New disciples class. Okay? Lahat ng ating mga houses, you can promote this. I desire to see our jolly 60s, our senior citizens, to be our prayer warriors. 
Alagay ko naman, kayo mga senior, pwede nyo naman gawin yan, di ba? Kayo mga senior, pwede nyo gawing tatlo, dalawa, tatlong oras ang pipre kayo. Nasabihin nyo, we pastor, paulit-ulit yan. Hindi naman memorize yan eh. Inuulit mo lang yung prayer mo. Pero hindi mo minememorize yan. Sapakat concern ka sa panagpipray mo. Spend time. Am I right? Spend time praying. I spend time praying. I walk, I pray. I sit in my car, I pray. I go to my office in Congress, I don't want to be disturbed, I pray. One hour of praying, hindi naman kinakailangan isang oras and punto yan eh. Di ba? Oh. Hindi lang, pati yung pagkain mo, nakakalimutan mo mag-pray. Di ba? Pag nasa labas ka, kakain ka ng tanghalian doon, nahihiya kang mag-pray. Mayroon isang pastor, nag-pray nga nung lunchtime. Kinuha yung panyo. Kunyari, pinapawisan. Nakayo ko. Amen. Nag-pray na siya. Pastor yan. Ako, ano ako eh. Uh, kulokoy ako eh. May meeting kami ng mga men sa isang restaurant. Alauna ng umaga eh. Kakain kami. Eh puno yung restaurant. Anong sinabi ko? Tumayo tayong lahat at manalangin tayo. Lahat na nakaupo doon, tumayo. Gawin nyo kaya? Okay. While the choir, the singers, the forte, yung bang inawit nyo ngayong gabi? Inapply nyo sa buhay nyo? Ha, choir? Ha? Inapply nyo? Ano yung nakalagay? Ano yung kinanta nyo ngayong gabi? Oh, I want to be like Jesus. Inapply nyo? Pagkatapos ang awitin niya, nakalimutan niyo na eh. Hindi ba le, bago tayo matapos dito, aawitin ulit natin. Para maalala niyo, na ang buhay natin, hindi buhay na Bene Abante, buhay ng Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Tama mali. Kung mali ako, huwag na kayong magatin dito. Magatin kayo dun sa tama. For example, kay Mormon, kay Kibuloy, doon kayo magatin. Jobos sickness. Gusto niyo magatin doon? O kahit baptist yan. O. Oh. Naayon sabihin niyo, si pastor, palagi na lang ganyan. Pinagtsadyakaan ko na lang yan. Eh. Huwag ka na magtsaga. Mars ka na. Tsadyaka ka pa dito. Di ba? Our Knights of Philemon, strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Tama? Bakit tinawag kang Knights? To be always available when called upon to battle. Listen, I am battling in Congress since last week. I will be in the papers again this week. Do you realize that? I'll be interviewed again in every major network in this country. This week. Bukas and Tuesday, meron kaming committee hearing ng Committee on Ethics tungkol kay Pantaleon Alvarez Ipuergo. Who will be interviewed? The chairman? Me. Wednesday. What basis 
my resolution and my privileged speech. Listen, your pastor is fighting. And I don't care what happens to me, folks. Thank you for giving me a bulletproof car. But even if it's not bulletproof, like my Bentley, my body is bulletproof. When I get to heaven, it will be glorified anyway. Is your body bulletproof too? Or is it ugly? So, nice of Philemon. Be strong in the Lord. And by the way, siya pala, and Knights of Philemon will be the lead agency in the celebration, in the dedication of the camp of the Ben O Abante Senior Auditorium in Camp Benny. Now look, a lot of people will attend. Politicians, pastors. We're going to showcase this camp to everyone. Because later, they're going to use that. Have you invited them? You invite the, the chairman of the NYC also. Okay? Because he lives nearby. Kapit bahay niya yung camp, alam niya eh. Number 10, the houses. Alam niya yung houses. House of Lija, House of Dorcas should always be available to serve and be at the beck and call of the BP. They should be the Marys and the Martas combined. Attention. Alam niyo na kung sino yan, di ba? Number 11, we do not want to forget our children. Sila ang future ng MBBE. Pag wala na ako, iba na ang pastor dito, sila naman ang magiging matapat ng mga miyembro. Bakit? Sapagkat wala na rin kayo. O kaya naman, matanda na kayo. Number 12, full-time pastors and preachers Caps, Acts preachers, listen. Your ministry should be well defined. Walang Acts preacher dito na hindi alam kung ano ang kanyang ministry. Naunawaan niyo ba? All right. Ah, may verse dito. Tingnan niyo yung verse. Kapagkat nilagyan ko ng mga verses yan para malaman niyo ang pastor niyo hindi nagsasarita ayon sa kanyang gusto. Whenever you are in the ecclesia, you're God's servant, not bosses, not supervisors. You should always be there, ready to serve in whatever manner, be it ushering, helping, assisting the members, or whatever the BP asks you to do. Nakakita ka ng senior dyan na nahihirap ang maglakad. Alayan mo. Amen ba? Oh, that's your job. That's your duty. Do not be just faithful attendees, but be faithful and dependable assistants. Help meet servant leaders of God's people. Always be an example of good behavior and humility. Kaya may Acts Preachers tayo, correct? Sino man sa inyo? Ano man ang, ano man ang position nyo? Sabi ko sa inyo, wala akong hang up sa position ko. Dahil sa ako ay naging minority leader, deputy speaker, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Magaling na ako? No. I am still a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ayan ha? 
preachers. Sinabi ko na sa inyo. Okay? For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. We are overcomers. We are conquerors to Him that loved us. All of you leaders will receive this instruction in hard copies. <laughs>